The ANC in KZN has a new leader, Sponiso Duma, defeating Sisha Zigalala to clinch the provincial chairperson position. Duma won 265 votes. The election also seeing Nomaku Kusimelani becoming the only female that's voted into this leadership. She's now the new deputy chair. Let's make sense of all of this for you now. In a context, of course, where this uh, new leader, uh, Sponiso Duma, has said there will be no purging of the current leadership, uh, at least for now, as far as we understand. Uh, let's get you some analysis. Bring in political analyst Dr. John Molepo, who joins us via our very link this morning. Doc, it's great to have you on the program. Thanks very much indeed for your time. Look, getting into this conference, we had always known that Sikhe Zigalala may have been in trouble, but did you expect this outcome? Good morning to you and good morning to the viewers. Uh, the writing has all been on the board that Sikhe Zigalala's future in the province uh, is going to have a serious challenge because of many various issues uh, because of his alignment to the Ramaphosa and, and, and many other issues in the province. I think Zikalala's future has long been hanging. I think he lost co a conference before COVID. Sure. The question now obviously is what happens next insofar as his um, career as you know, a politician, a senior politician in, in KZN is concerned. And we're back again to that conversation around the two centers of power. You know, I've lost count how many times we've spoken about that, um, especially because what it raises is questions around whether or not someone in Zigalala's position will be able to finish their term given what typically comes up when there are two leaders, as it were, as is the case in KZN. No, I don't think as the physical will finish the term. Uh, I think now they just want to uh, speech, uh, they don't want to talk about unity and so on, go into the conference of uh, December. I think in the December conference, after conference, you are likely to see the removal of Sikhe uh, Sigalala uh, as they ascend to, uh, to the uh, governance, uh, as the uh, Duma taking over as the, chef, as the, as the premier of KZN. I, I think for now, it's just a question of not trying to page uh, to display a unity in the society, but we all know that the, come December, Zikhe uh, Sigalala will not be the premier of, of, of KZA. Hmm. What do we know and, about... Yeah, go ahead. And, and besides, uh, Zikhe has not been receiving joy from various, uh, you know, regions in the province. And, and also even the question of Jacob Zuma, how he handled uh, the question of Jacob Zuma in the province. I think it had a serious implication towards him, uh, towards uh, the, uh, the delegates going to this uh, particular conference. So coming to December, uh, I think uh, the colleagues or the PEC members will definitely think again about Zika being the, the premier. Mm. What do we know about Sboni Duma and what he brings to this position? Um, whoever or whatever his disposition is going to be crucial because outside of the internal machinations within the ANC, it's a party that's also really facing an uphill battle in terms of winning back the electorate in that province. Well, true. Uh, remember, it's a former leaguer and he was uh, participating in the Queen a lot. And I'm, 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 I'm just saying that going to the province as a leader now, uh, he has a serious uh, problematic issue that he must deal with. Firstly, uh, the ANC in the province has lost a number of support in various regions. You can see they lost a, a few municipalities. It tells you that... Uh, Going forward, he really needs to work very hard in to ensure and restore faith and support of all the members of, of, of the ANC and even the society at large in the province. So I think going forward, uh, he's going to seriously uh, work very hard. But the implication thereof to the 2024 conference, I think if you can check this Adiwele tone, uh, if you can check. Now the Adiwele is trying to get momentum in various provinces. It started in Gaudi, now Adiwele now is in, 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 in in case it and I think moving forward we are well might be another uh, um, a, a a faction, or not necessarily a faction, but a, a campaign towards the uh, December conference. And who is <laughs> Adiwele, as we say, backing, do you reckon? Um, if it's not a CR type campaign or an RET type campaign, who do you reckon is the person that they want at the top? Well, uh, People are saying it's Paul Mashadile and then Zulum Keys who are now coming to this issue of Adiwele. But uh, be it is me, if it's uh, Paul Mashadile or, or, or Zulum Keys, I think uh, the Ramaphosa did not have a strong contender for his uh, particular position in December that is coming. I think now people are starting to voice whether um, Keys or, or Mashadile can able to contest uh, Ramaphosa coming to the December conference. But if 
You can check the most powerful position that in the ANC of ANC is uh, that one is saving is uh, Paul Machetile is saving a serious position. I think he is he's the uh, 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 NOC alone because he has as uh, NOB alone because there's a uh, very critical position and has been moving, cr- crossing all the, uh, the provinces, addressing the, I think he's trying to position himself as the incoming deputy president or president of South Africa. Yeah. Or the ANC. Mm, interesting. The, um, the newly elected chair of the, um, of the ANC in KZN, I beg your pardon, speaking to Mbari Titani a few moments ago saying, you know, we shouldn't read anything into the fact that Cyril Ramaphosa is not going to close this conference, alluding to the fact that he didn't close the conference in Gauteng either. But we know, of course, the circumstances are very different in KwaZulu-Natal. For one, a man who was said to be backing him didn't necessarily win. In fact, sure. this morning we were seeing posters circulating of a protest calling for him to resign, to step down as the leader of the ANC. Are you buying what this new chair has told us? It was inevitable that the, the president should he address the the the, the KZN conference uh, without the classical support. That's, I think he was going to have a serious challenge for him. They're going to boo him. And Brahmaposa, for now, at this current uh, at this juncture, doesn't want to see those things happening to him because of the issues of Palapala, Pala, the issues of the conference December, and so on. And besides, KZN has no long has, has long been an, uh, his uh, supporting base or support base. I think uh, his advisor did very well to come up with a, a meeting. Or, whatever uh, reason not for him not to address uh, KZN because it was going to seriously embarrass him. Mm. <laughs> Dr. John Balepo, thanks very much indeed for your take. So I take it you don't buy the explanation, at least in the form that has been given to us. Uh, political no, analyst. there's been doctor in that issue. There's been doctor in that issue for yeah. us. He, we, we all know that uh, KZN is not his support space. If he went to KZN, uh, he was going to be booed. And now the headlines are going to change and uh, booing, booing, booing. But interestingly enough, look at what this uh, commission they've been uh, engaging on, on the issues of step aside. Mm. Uh, part of the issue that KZN is pushing step aside issue, not only KZN, in, in, in many other uh, uh, provinces. But let me also say, uh, I think the courage of uh, KZN is now open for other provinces to voice their, uh, their issues, uh, their uh, leadership preference going to uh, December conference. I think Ramaphosa might also have a serious challenge because most provinces were scared to mention or to announce or to, do, or to denounce Ramaphosa for now. I think in the coming three or four, you will see provinces coming denouncing uh, Ramaphosa. So there may very well be momentum behind what the ANC in Guazul Natal has started. Fair enough. Dr. John Malepo, once again, thanks very much indeed for your take on this. Really do appreciate it. Dr. Malepo is a political analyst.